Hey tea people, it's Avery, and today we're going to be making cold brew tea with tea bags. So first you want to figure out which tea you want to use. I'm going to make two different cold brews, so I've got two different teas here, and then you want to get your containers. You want to figure out how much cold brew you want to make. I'm going to make it on the go with the mason jar, and then a bigger picture of the cold brew tea. And I like to use glass containers with something with a lid that'll keep closed, or some kind of suction, something that'll go on top to kind of keep it somewhat sealed. But of course, you don't have to use a glass container. You can use some sort of hard plastic, BPA-free pitcher or tumbler, as long as it has some kind of a lid that will keep it closed. And I like these containers I'm using right here a lot even more because it has the measurements on the side for the volume of the water. So that way I don't have to use a scale or anything. For cold brew tea, I like to use one tea bag per four ounces. So I'm gonna make a 12 ounce cold brew in the glass mason jar right here. So I'm gonna have three tea bags because I'm gonna make 12 ounces, so one tea bag per four ounces of water. If you have the tea bags with the strings and the paper and all that stuff, we don't really need all that just soaking in the water. So I like to cut the strings off with the paper and everything, just a little bit, you know, above the tea bag. We don't want to cut into the tea bag. We want to keep the leaves inside the tea bag and everything, and the herbs and everything else, whatever kind of tea you're brewing. And now we want to just go ahead and drop your tea bags into the container. You definitely want to use filtered water, and we're going to add 12 ounces of filtered water to the container. And now that we've added our water, we're gonna move it around a little bit. And since this lid stays sealed, we're gonna tighten it on the top and shake it up a little bit to make sure the tea bags are completely soaked. You're just kind of kickstarting the infusion process right here with the leaves and the other ingredients in this blend right here. And as you can see, it's already kind of started to release. The colors already changed from just that clear water to the infusion of the tea right there. And then you want to put your container towards the back of the refrigerator and let it sit there for 10 to 12 hours. And now I'm going to make a pitcher of cold brew tea with tea bags. So even more tea, even more water. Still going to do one tea bag per four ounces of water. Then get all your tea bags out. And this is another tea that has the strings and the tags and everything, which is good, of course, when you're having hot tea. So you don't have to, you know, put your hand in the hot tea when you're taking the tea bag out. But for cold brew tea, we're just letting it sit in there. If you like, you can use, keep the strings attached and just kind of, you know, let the tag part kind of stay outside of the pitcher or the container. That way you can just kind of pull the tea bags up later. Then you want to drop your tea bags into the pitcher. and add your filtered water just like we did with the smaller container. And if you don't have a container that has the measurement markings, you could definitely use a scale to weigh out your water. Just kind of shaking it up a little bit, moving it around, make sure you know all the tea bags are soaked and everything. And then also with the pitcher of the cold brew, we're gonna put it towards the back of the refrigerator and let it sit there for 10 to 12 hours. And 10 hours later with this cold brew steeping and we are ready. Let's get these things out of the refrigerator. Look at those nice colors right there. Definitely some great infusion going on right there. So let's go ahead and get those tea bags out. And you can, like I said, you use your hands. The water's cold, you know, everything's so not gonna burn you or anything. But I've got these nice little tongs. You got the bamboo tongs going on there. And I'm gonna get the tea bags out that way. And while you're taking the tea bags out, just kind of let them drip a little bit. You know, no rush on taking the tea bags out. You can even press them up against the container and let the rest of the liquid just go back into it. And that's it with the cold brew of the mason jar. It's ready to drink. And now with the pitcher, we're gonna get some bigger tongs. These are just kitchen regular tongs, you know, you can use when you're cooking or anything. And I'm gonna get the tea bags out with this one. Just reach down in there. And 
and that's it. Both of the cold brews are ready to drink and cold brew tea typically stays fresh for three days. So you want to consume it within that time. And when you're not drinking it or pouring it, you want to put it back in the refrigerator instead of letting it sit out for long periods of time. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you tap that like button and subscribe if you're not. Enjoy that cup of tea you've got. Take care.